Metro Detroit native is getting an Oscar nod after he and his wife took a huge gamble. Yeah, they used their entire nest egg to shoot a movie, and they'll find out tomorrow night if they are going to take home the Oscar. And this morning, we're joined by Andrew Bowler from Hollywood via Skype. Good morning. Thanks so much for getting up super early for us. No problem. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Hey, it's great to have you. So, obviously, this was quite a risk for you and your wife to make this movie happen. How did this all come about? Uh, we were living in New York City, and we were both uh, working different jobs, uh, reality shows, a little bit of uh, film work, and saving after our wedding. And we were planning on buying an apartment in New York City and uh, just decided that uh, if we bought that apartment, we were kind of going to be tied to it and have to take whatever, whatever job came along, and it was going to make us harder to... Uh, pursue some of the more artistic ideas, and so we decided to not do the apartment and make a short film instead. Now, Andrew, you guys were living a normal life, so to speak, and now you are Oscar-nominated artists. What has the ride been like? How has your life changed? Uh, it's unbelievable. Uh, it, uh, we keep thinking it might slow down uh, between the nomination and the awards on Sunday. It hasn't. Uh, there's no signs of it slowing down. Uh, every day is a new incredible... Uh, email in your inbox or phone call that you get or party that you go to it's just always at a sort of high pitch for this entire month which is it's amazing and tell us what your short film is called and what it's about it's called time freak uh it's a story of a neurotic inventor who creates a time machine uh, and ends up getting lost traveling around yesterday um, so it's 11 minutes, uh, and you can find it on iTunes. Now, Andrew, obviously, we wanted to talk to you because you are from Southfield, but you have another connection to 7 Action News. We actually uh, have a gentleman here who is friends with your father and also has a connection to the industry, Chris Edwards. Hey, Chris. Hey, Andrew, uh, I know your dad is proud. Everybody around you is proud, and we're proud of you here. You know we're all rooting for you tomorrow night. You know that, right? You feel it? Oh, thank you. Yes, I think there's a lot of, there's a lot of good Detroit energy coming our way. Uh, if, if there was voting there, uh, we'd have it all locked up. But. <laughs> you know, Andrew, I think reading your story also so inspiring as well is that, you know, once you guys made this movie, you were actually rejected by some festivals, but you guys didn't give up. Yeah, we, we had some of the big ones in mind at first, uh, and that was kind of a bummer to not get into them. But then we got into some nice ones, including um, Seattle, uh, which is if you win a festival like that, you qualify to submit to the Oscars. And so we uh, kept plugging away. What advice do you have for anyone else who may have a dream or, you know, feel discouraged about, about att attempting something that may seem impossible? You know, the thing I always tell uh, filmmakers or really anybody trying to make their artistic venture a professional venture, it's that you have to be hard on your work. And it's hard to do because it, it can be a bummer sometimes, but you have to admit uh, when your work isn't quite there. And Gigi and I have been at it for together, uh, you know, more than 30 years of combined experience. And we just learned that uh, if it's not 100% there, you've got to be the toughest critic and say, well, I got to keep working at this. Um, and that's, I think that's what kind of sets you up, I would think, to, to move into the professional realm with something artistic. Andrew, we only have a couple of seconds, but I can't let you go without asking if, you, if you've rubbed elbows with any uh, big stars there at Hollywood. I uh, got a hug from George Clooney. Uh, Gigi's mom stole a hug from Meryl Streep. <laughs> we love it. Well, congratulations to you and your wife, and we will be rooting for you tomorrow night. Good luck. Thank you so much.